All right, so let's take a look at the 2023 AP Physics 2 free response questions. Um, the solutions aren't out, so if I have any corrections, I will put it as a pinned comment in the, the video here. So let's take a look. A rectangular tank with a mirrored bottom is filled with water, index of refraction NW, a beam of light passes from air into the water at angle theta I from the normal shown in the figure, index of refraction NW is greater than the index of refraction of NA. On the following diagram, sketch the entire path of the beam as it enters travels through and then exits the water okay so index of refraction is greater that means light's going to slow down and by slowing down it will bend more towards the normal that is just sort of what's going to happen so this angle here is going to be smaller than the incident angle so it's going to do something like that okay and then after it bends there it's then going to bend out it's going to hit air again it's going to bend at the same angle it kind of came in so i should pick another line that's kind of like kind of oops is that right uh, no, probably not exactly. Probably a little bit, you know, it should be roughly similar. Oh, now I'm just being picky. Okay. Roughly similar angle as like it came in at, because now it's an air. So it's going to go at the same angle as it was originally, just because there's no, there's no change in these surfaces. They're all flat. Okay. So it should look something like that. Sugar is then added into the water resulting in a mixture of different index of refraction than water. A student considers two models, model A and model B for how the sugar mixes with water. The models are shown in figure two. Model A, the sugar is uniformly mixed throughout the water resulting in a mixture with index of refraction NM that is bigger than N water. So if you increase the index of refraction more. Model B, layers are formed. Okay, the three distinct layers of equal volume. Top layer is NW. Then the middle layer has the concentration mix A and M, and the bottom layer has the highest concentration NB. Consider model A briefly describe how the observed wavelength of the light changes. So remember, when we enter a medium, okay, what happens is the speed of light slows down, but the frequency doesn't change, okay? So as it enters, as it pumps from air into the mixture, the speed of light, speed of light decreases. because the index of refraction is greater. But frequency f doesn't change. And so by this formula, that implies the wavelength decreases. Okay. Right? Because the frequency doesn't change when it enters, but the speed of light decreases, so the wavelength therefore it decreases. OK, relevant angles between the beam and the normal various lasers are present models A and B. Incident angle in the air, theta 1 is it makes it with the normal, theta i, theta 2, theta 3, theta 4. Uh, okay, so it's just like all the different angles there. Determine expression for theta 4 in terms of theta i, n a, and n b. Okay? So if you look at theta 4, what, what you're going to think about, and this is what's going to happen in here, is like the angle here through this, like, like it's going to be sine Snell's law. You're going to say Na sine theta i is equal to, say, Nw sine theta 1, right? But then that angle is going to match the angle there. So then you're going to have Nw sine theta 1 equals Nm sine of theta, you know, say 2. Okay, this one here. Oh, actually, what, what is it? It's not, it, sorry, it's 2 and 3 and 4. Sorry. So it's two and three and four, because this one is two. This one here is theta one. This is theta one. This is theta two. This is theta three, theta four. So theta two, theta two, theta three. And then again, it, it goes through this one and, and you have a similar thing. Nm sine theta three is gonna equal Nb sine of theta four. Okay, so all of them are related. So therefore this just equals that one. Na sine theta i. Na sine theta i is equal to nb sine of theta 4. So you can just do, you can divide the nb over here and then do inverse sine. Inverse of theta 4 is going to be inverse sine of na sine of theta i over nb. That's Snell's law there. Rank the angles from greatest to least with one being the greatest. If two angles are the same value, give them the same ranking. Okay, so <clears throat> now, um, 
basically every time the index of refraction increases, sorry, every time the you go through a higher index of refraction, the angle is going to ultimately get smaller, right? Like it's going to shrink and then it's going to shrink and then shrink. The, like the, the greater the index of refraction is going to be. So you're always going to be constantly decreasing the angles. Okay, so if you look at this one, this one is just ni sine theta i or na sine theta i equals nm sine theta 1. So these are always going to get bigger. So the question is, is how does theta 1 compare to these guys, right? Because this is just always going to get bigger because as you increase the angle, it's just going to get a, a, a smaller and smaller angle. However, you know, like this matches, um, um, like this theta 1 matches this na and the nm, which one has nm? is sine of uh, theta 3. So theta 3 is going to match theta 1 because you can see in the theta 3 here, like these, the, all these are equal to each other, right? So nm sine theta 3 is the same as na sine theta i. So that means th theta 3 and theta 1 both have the nm, right? Like all of those are equal. So the nm sine theta 1 and nm sine theta 3. So therefore theta 1 equals theta 3. So it's going to be basically, it's just going to get bigger. Okay, so this one, um, two angles, or which one is the greatest angle? So it's going to be one, one, then this is, these are next, then three, then four. Okay, so the, the, the basic reasoning is, is the higher the index of refraction means the smaller the angle, the angle. Okay, so so the medium one, right, NM has the same index of refraction. So this is theta one, this is theta two, theta three, theta four. Oh, actually, sorry, theta two is going to be the, 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 the biggest one. Sorry, I had that the wrong order. And then theta one, and then theta three, and then theta four, right? So it should be theta two first. Sorry, my bad. So that should be one. I was getting weird on the order, so, and then these are going to be both tied for second, because these will be next and then theta four. Um, so, you know, like um, for theta one or theta two has the smallest index of refraction and theta one and theta three have the same index of refraction and then theta four, the medium has the highest index of refraction, highest index of refraction. All right, now this one, for the original tank filled with water, the beam has also observed the exit of the surface of water at a horizontal distance DW from the entry point. Okay, so this original tank, it's gonna exit, sorry, exit the surface of the water. So there's a reflection down here, or there, let me see. Yeah, exit the surface water, yeah. For models A and B, the horizontal distance are D and DB. Determine whether D, A, and DB are greater than, less than, or equal. It's not necessary to compare D, A, DB, just brief, briefly justify your answer. Okay, so what happens here is we bend, and the reason we have one is we have a reflection here, right? This this is theta R, or we'll call that theta, I don't know, theta R, and then so and then this, this it will reflect that theta R. So when we do this, this is going to bend even steeper, because remember they told you NM, is so so nm is going to have a steeper angle because it has a higher index of refraction so it's going to come out at a distance like this is distance d dw and then this is da so da is going to be smaller than this one because the angle is going to be ultimately steeper than 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 this one so it'll reflect sooner at a, at a, like, a like at a shorter distance and so it'll be at a shorter distance there so so for DA compared to DW, that's the first comparison we want to make. We want to say that DA is going to be less than DW, and that is because the, the higher index of refraction implies that the light will bend bends more sharply. So the reflection occurs a reflection bounces closer, closer. Okay. Now this one is a little bit tricky because this is, oh, so this is NW. So it's going to have like the same angle here, right? But then it's going to get steeper and steeper. And so then it'll come back and it'll come back. So again, 
it's kind of the same idea, right? Initially, it bends the same angle, but because all of these have a higher index of refraction, they're going to bend steeper. So again, we're going to say that DB, this is the other comparison, is DW. And it's almost a similar reasoning. It's again because um, NM and NB have higher index of refractions. which means that it's going to bend, so it'll bend more sharply again. So it's almost the same reasoning, bend more sharply. You could just probably combine those reasonings together into a single argument, but basically it's going to bend more sharply, and so it's going to come out sooner than the original one there. Okay, But the key thing is talk about the index of refraction and the fact that it's going to bounce a little bit faster there.